On ladies on wheels before. Eh? You don't pay money. Once they drop your contact, all of us go call you till you pay that money. This is Babes on Wheels. My name is Mrs. Victoria Omotayo. I'm actually a chief. I, my full name Oyeyemi Victoria Omotayo, aka Aweru. On Ladies on Wheels, a lot of them know me as Aweru and CSO. So, my family background, you know, my family, my family, I'm, I'm married to Basharu Oluwashegun Omotayo, who is the Basharu of Yoruba in France. Um, I'm happily married, let me just keep it that way. Coming into this job, that was in 2020. I had my wedding in 2020, in February 15th. Then came the lockdown after that marriage. My husband was still around as at then. So a lot of people had challenges, you know, that lockdown, we can really say what people went through that period. And thanks to God, I belong to an organization as, um, one of their press so i was able to go out during that lockdown to do some investigation and all that and um, so that gave me the privilege to also help a lot of families you know with you know if you have a press stick on your car you can go out so i was able to go to my 12 shop for families help people to buy food stuff and all that so when all those was going on and it has really drained a lot of pockets so after the lockdown i was like before everybody can pick up again i don't know how this is going to be so i told my, my husband had gone back after the whole thing and i have a, i have a car a jeep which is xc90 volvo so i now told my husband i said guy the way they go so me, I won't do bow. <laughs> the guy said, Are you all right? <laughs> Without car? I said, The car will do it. So long it gives me something to feed on. I know it might not be able to pay the bills, but at least it will sort some problems because of the fuel consumption. So he said, He just said, Well, now you savvy. And I said, Don't worry, watch me. And that was how I started Uber with the Jeep. When I registered, it was like, I know he was surprised, but he was waiting for me to come back with uh -huh, Moto She, Moto <laughs> that kind of stuff. But to go with the glory, I started with the Jeep and I was enjoying the job. Like, wow, this is awesome. So he was now able to help when the car have little issues, he will help me to fix it. Then I will get back. Gradually, I was able to save money, even though it was consuming fuel, but at least I was doing the job consistently. I was going on with it and I was able to save up. And he supported me and we got a Corolla. And I said, thank God, finally, I'm in this job. And that was how I started using the Corolla to do the job till date. I would say I'm enjoying the job because I've not really had any bad experiences that could have scared me off. Although I had one, but each time I think about that experience, I always say, I don't know what God did for me. The experience was, um, I got a ride. It was on a Sunday morning. I got a ride from around that lucky area. I mean, I got a request from that lucky area. When I got there, the guy was delaying a bit. So eventually I called him. I discovered I couldn't even call him from the uh, contact direct. I had to use the intercall to communicate with him because 
the number he provided was not going through. So I was not like, okay. So when he now got back, he now said it was a delivery that he is not going. And I'm like, delivery? I just said, anyway, no problem. Let me have it. Then it was at a plaza, not even a known address, you know. So another guy came and gave me the stuff. It was um, some gadget like um, walkie-talkie, headphone kind of so i felt maybe security something so i just took it and i said okay when i get to the destination contact and he said don't worry just give me a call when you get there the person will collect from you and i zoom off on getting to the destination and i realized that even the address did not have a number just a street name so who am i going to which door am i going to knock at I was still there and I was waiting. I was calling the guy. He wasn't picking anymore. I kept calling before I ended the trip. He wasn't picking and I already got another request again waiting for me. And like, this is not good because there's no contact to call. I just made up my mind that, okay, let me end the trip. I will take his gadgets to Uber office. It was later. I'm not like... The street I even entered was kind of a lonely street filled with uh, a bookie and sort of... That was a risk. You know, I was thinking to myself like, and he's not picking. So, two days later when I had the time, I made a report to Uber immediately before somebody will say one driver and blah, blah, blah. And I went to Uber office. I dropped in there. As I'm speaking till date, there has not been any contact to collect that thing. So I'm like, well, only God understand because someone can someone cannot have such gadgets and not come for it. So that's one of my experiences on the job. My also continues on me, I'm fearless. So God always brings good people my way. Even though I am fearless, he brings good, kind people my way. I have gotten help through this job from riders who could just give you a tip. You know, I've gotten good people. If you are not bored, you can't do the job. Based on the kind of things, the stories we hear about all these uh, bad guys entering your car and all that. Probably, I don't know, I can talk about maybe your charisma or the way they see you when they come in. You know, there's a way you comport yourself as a lady, they will know that she's responsible or whatever. I don't know what could ring in their head, but for me, I present myself in a way that you cannot harass me. You cannot talk down on me. I respect my riders. Whatever they want, I give to them. Except if it's not comfortable with me, which I've not really encountered much. I wouldn't say because I'm not so close to the guys. I'm not so close to them. I just do my job and go. And the only pl platform I belong is Ladies on Wheels. So I don't really know much about the guys. Yeah. I think I, I've always had happy people. When they enter, they say, oh, ha, it's a woman, ah, I'm happy. I remember one day, someone requested me on Uber. And this person, I was at Ikeja. And the request came from I'm a word of it. And I'm like, I'm not doing that. Pick up. <laughs> that the man was begging me that for the fact that you are a female, I want to ride with you. I look at the traffic and I'm like, sir, I wish to call more for the fact that you are even happy to ride with me. But it won't pay me to take that long trip with the traffic. I'm so sorry, you no. Know? I couldn't take the man. So I've had people who have always been happy to ride with me. I've not really had like, and most of them do question me like, as a woman, have you been harassed? I've, I say, no, I've not. I've not been harassed. I've not had that. I've not. And uh, I don't know, probably because I always have it on every day. You know, some men, when they see a woman, the first thing they look out for is this. So probably that's why I've not had 
such advances but rather i have people at the end of the trip they say appreciate you thank you you can have they just give a token and that's all even female do give me money some female that love the way i drive and the way i communicate the music everything they just say ah thank you and you no know, Best experience I've had. I think the best experience I've had on this job is becoming a member of Loa. When I became a member, it broadens my experiences because you know, before I became a member, there are certain challenges I might have. I don't know what to ask. But being a member of Loa, I could just drop my worries immediately and someone will just pick it up and say this is the solution so it makes the job very easy having other ladies that have had series of experiences so everybody just drop mind and once you drop your question someone knows about it and they will respond to you immediately i think that's one of the best moments i've had on the job <laughs> Seriously, we, some of us, are, even me that is sitting here that you see this attire, if you see me when I'm on the job, I'm on jeans, so. <laughs> you know, it's sometimes, once in a while, I go on it, but maybe according to my mood, the most I, in fact, when you see our gathering, I'm going food deal. <laughs> we plenty. <laughs> ah, now I need a reducer. Yeah? A woman will always be a woman, you know. It's only few of us that have that, uh, as a tomboy, we want to be like, you know, that matured mind. But so, no, I'm gonna not beat me, I'll talk my truth. Yeah? Some of them have drama. They come with, <laughs> with the drama. Especially me, being the CSO. Oh my God. Every time it's CSO, CSO, and I'm like, you guys cannot run me mad. <laughs> you know, when the drama comes, but at the end of the day, we all enjoy, we all resolve it the way we can, and we just continue. That's women for you. What I love about low one ladies, we hear, and every, after every, blah, 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 we are still together again. That's just the beauty of it. Yes, that when we offend each other, we know how to get about it, and that's just it. I'm not really, I can't say I've had, uh, I've not really had, okay, I remember, not, let me not talk about words, I've not really had words, but I remember one experience, which, which was a beautiful one, it was a couple. It was, I think, maybe the daughter or family that requested me, and I went to pick them. The man, the elderly man, was a little bit ill and needed to go to the hospital. So, when I got to the compound, before we could bring daddy downstairs, you know, sometimes, no, not sometimes, most times, I help my riders. If you have luggage, I step out of my car, I support, I lift things and put in my boot and all that. I don't leave things for my rider to do and sit. Uh -huh. I don't do that. I give support. So, to bring daddy down, from the staircase, it was very, very hill. So when I got into the car with uh, mommy, I have a way of understanding my riders sometimes, the kind of music that could change. Uh, so I started playing these old jams. See daddy and mommy behind you. We were singing along and was, they were grooving. I'm like, ah. Do you know by that we got to the hospital? Nobody helped daddy to step out of the car. He moved inside him so I said it's the music heals the world you know and I could see the effect of it that daddy said please can you come back to people's home and I said it depends on your time if I could wait so I was so happy to see someone that we struggled to bring down from the staircase now walking himself into the hospital without all of us guiding and all that so it was a beautiful experience for me I think my my instincts. Uh, I'm gifted when it comes to that. That when things is about to happen, 
I could feel that energy like, don't go this way, don't go out today. I'm not a spiritual person. No, no, no. In fact, I hardly go to church. So that you don't think I'm adding spirit, I hardly go to church. But I have my way with God. You know? So most times I think God has really helped me to guide me away from so many things on this job. That's why, it, like, when I started driving, I started driving in 2019. When I started, that month I started, I got the car. The first place I headed to was Jebodi. Can I imagine Elena going on the highway? That had been my focus. Like, if I handle motor, online, interstate driving, by, I don't know why I've always had that thing in my head. So when I was going, I went to the mechanic and my sister-in-law. And that was how I beat that fear. I think that has been what has been driving me that I go on the, during the lockdown. I was just going fear, fear for every state. That was how I was going during the lockdown. Can imagine 2019, 2020, I was going interstate. I was driving, though my husband was always beside me, but that confidence was there for me to go that far and my instincts has really saved me a lot that if I don't feel like going out, I stay at home. Ah, hey, we. Hey, <laughs> Nigeria police. <laughs> ah. I've had experience with the Nigerian police, but that was many years ago when I've not really had any stability in life and know the people that I know today. I think my experiences with some of the Nigerian police really pushed me to be in some places in Nigeria today. You know, I've been harassed with my family, you know, so definitely though among the nigerian police there are the good ones we have the bad ones but we can't say all police are bad i only had my experience with the unintelligent ones among them let me use that because an intelligent officer will not harass you will not intimidate you or bully you it's only the uneducated one that does that so i always tell people don't say all police are bad you only encounter the bad one. And some of them were saying, why did they employ them? I said, well, if people like us at Anele wish to be police now, we will not have such people now. <laughs> <That'd> be... <laughs> ah, I'm trying to remember one, though they were not really trying to do it that far, but I think maybe because they are about to. I had to look from the camera behind and I'm like, what's that for? No? <laughs> you know, you always get nasty people. But that's why I, mean, I love driving on Uber. Seriously. Uber, I don't know how, because I always say, it is the same weed driver that is doing both rider and all those other apps that are also doing Uber. But why is it that on Uber, you have People that are saying more than other apps. You know, I don't understand that logic behind it though, because I always try to like I've seen one, me, I've just like I just looked at the mirror like and I'm like No, they didn't start to, but maybe because they want to start, I just look only the way I looked at it, I think they understood the message and we had a good ride. <laughs> The truth is, the job is profitable according to your energy, how you can drive. For me, sometimes I wake up as early as 5.30, 6 a.m. and I walk till like maybe that 11, 12, I'm off the road. And sometimes I walk till 4 p.m., depend on how my body could take it for the day. I don't drive at night, I don't walk at night. Once it's getting to 6 p.m., you see me my never done that except that heavy traffic helped me on the road no. so savings i make sure every day my bank app takes two thousand from 
compare with day, no matter what I sell, even if I don't go out, I make your money save 2000 But the truth is, if not that I have a support system who is my husband, I don't think I will be able to survive. So I give kudos to most of our ladies and the guys who don't have a backup. I have a backup, so buying parts makes it easy. My husband takes care of most of those aspects. So I'm not going to start blabbing like I have it all, the business is this. No, please. Because I work according to my energy. So when it comes to major work on the car, I got support from my husband. Now, let me say this. When I started, I had a terrible experience that took me off the job for months. I wasn't getting myself. There's this feeling at the center of my head. I went for general checkup. I said nothing was wrong with me. I knew that you had to obey your body before your body obey the grave. So I just keep off the job and focus on my other business. I have other businesses that I do, not only the, the driving. When you hear I wear rogbogolowo, I sell. As I'm sitting here, tomorrow morning I'm going to Ejebu to buy Gary. I said Gary Ejebu. Good one, not be you will get quality one, you know. So I face my other business, but I try to rest. And I also have um, organic herbs that I produce myself. I've been selling it for the past five years now. Once I drink it, my energy. Some of my friends always ask me, I will I wish I could have your kind of energy. You know, I work. I don't feel tired easily. Once I drink it, I'm off. But the moment I feel tired, I'm off the road. I don't stress it. I don't stress it. So I just go and rest. I'm grateful I know no one. Uh, the full Ladies on Wheel Association of Nigeria. That is no one. So, with Lohan, I think Lohan has also made me to get some good connection on this job. Met women of substance, women, great women. So, I would say that Lohan is not just an association. Lohan has empowered a lot of women. That is for those of us who really believe in Lohan and follow most of the things you know me being an admin in low one i know what you know when they said they want to uh, uh, they, um, we should visit here one person wants to see low one and they say who will represent i said okay i can have the time and this one have the time you know, those are some of the opportunities that has exposed me to some things that i never thought i could know When I started this business, I posted about it on my Facebook page. But some people feel shy about saying, because they see it as taxi driver. And they say, I'm not a taxi driver, because I'm using my car. It's a classic job. You should be proud of whatever you are doing. Who is not paying my bills? I have no right to tell me. I'm, even if you call me a taxi driver, I don't care. You're not paying my bills. I know some of my Facebook friends who are in this job because they say, eh, if Victoria can do it, then I can do it. I motivate them. Like, you can do it. Some of them had already started doing it before they even said, your post made me to start. No, I'm so proud of it. So coming into this job for them, they have a lot to learn. That's why some of them, the moment I know they are there, I bring them to low one. Just like low one helped me to uh, broaden my experience, <clears throat> you know, some of the things I did not know, I was able to learn from other ladies. So coming into the job is very easy if you are coming with your heart, you are ready to learn, humble, humility, you know, because you meet people. But the way you relate with them will help you to stay or to live. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Ah, uh, no, let me come out. Eh? Yes, more. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I say, 
don't look at this so if you see me behind the wheels you won't believe this woman because i'm a different person by the time i remove my scarf comb my tinted hair wear my jean and the gallant over <laughs> Let me just give a little advice to those out there on this job, you know, when I see some of the videos people posted about a rider, uh, um, a driver humiliating a, dri a rider because they didn't pay. I forgot an experience I had with a lady, you know. We all have um, different ways of handling things. I've had a rider that I took one time. We got to our destination from Yanokaja to Chevron. And on getting there, I think I can't even remember the exact amount of that money, about five plus or six thousand. I can't remember the exact amount. And her boyfriend was not there to pay me. And she just said to me, ma'am, please I'll pay just forward the account to me. And I just told her, go. And I forwarded my account to her. Do you know that money took three days before I got it? Some people will not allow her to go. They will want to record her like, hey, you can't see your boyfriend. Da, 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 da. Everything is not drama. Probably because of my own policy. I always believe I control money. Money doesn't control me. Probably because of my own policy about money. Meanwhile, some other riders too, you need to treat their madness sometimes because some of them just want to scam you. You can't see a hardworking lady that wakes up as early as 6 a.m. to go out and you would want, you wouldn't want to pay them. I've had several occasions where the uh, ladies on wheels will have such experiences and I will have to call the riders politely, plead with them, please kindly pay that money. Else, there's a way I will draft the test message. You will pay now. That's how I make them to make, uh, pay that money sometimes. So, you know, the thing is, the, uh, the the way we embarrass ourselves, everything for the social media, and um, not all of them is nece necessary. Some depend on the kind of thing that we warrant, so but not every little thing. On ladies on wheels before, yeah, you know, pay money. Once they drop your contact, all of us go call you till you pay that money. But we're not looking at no. Let's not do this agbero like style. It's not. It doesn't fit us as ladies, you know. So that was that. That was where we now created admins that would be saying to such affairs and we are trying though some don't get their money back even with the admin trying they don't get the money they just let it go you know but me i believe once in a life you don't eat people's sweat i want to feed fat no you pay for it come out with deal with you probably that's why me i don't harass them i will let you go but me i know say my own sweat no no you go pay me if you not pay me Somebody else will take it from me. And God has a way of giving me back all I lost. You know, I remember a lady want money. Yeah, there was a lady want money like that. I picked her. You know you had an appointment early in the morning. You're supposed to leave earlier before the time. Now there was early morning traffic. I thought I was helping her. I went and followed another route that I think that was faster. It now delayed. So in her mind, she felt that's how they behave. They want to take a longer route so that you will pay more. She was insulting me. I was embarrassed. Behind my wheel, I was like, Chai, you hear me? Hey, God, I didn't say anything. When we got to our destination, I wanted to pay me. I said, go, I don't need money. That money was about 4,000 or so. I told her, oh, 2007 or so, yeah, about 2007. I said, go, I don't need the money. She was shocked. Because, you know, I, I was helping. But now, Instead of it to look with the other way, you thought I'm one. So because I am not one of those drivers, I have to make that sacrifice that I will not take that money. And she left my car. And that was my first job for the day. And what happened? Before the end of the day, I make money, I go as cook catfish omiobe, and I ate good food because God replenished my pocket. You see, there's a way God works. We should just try and apply the method of, of, um, of controlling the money. Don't let the money control you so that you don't misbehave. That is it.